Many people who file for divorce cannot afford to be able to fund two different homes. For example, if you were to separate, one person pays for the current rent or mortgage, while the other spouse has to go and pay a second rent or mortgage. So a lot of the times we see couples who are going through a divorce cohabitating together during the pendency of their case. In this video, we're gonna address not only some potential consequences of living together, how cohabitation affects spousal support, as well as whether cohabitation can affect the grounds of getting a divorce. Hi, I'm Sina Mohajer. I'm a family law attorney practicing in the greater Los Angeles County since 2012. I've been a contributing member of the Los Angeles County Bar Association, and I've been rated by super lawyers since 2019. The first question is whether cohabitation actually can affect the grounds of getting divorce. The answer is no. As long as you want a divorce, you're gonna get your divorce. You living together might create some complications down the line, but nothing preventing you from getting that judgment and dissolving that marriage in order for you to start your new chapter in life. Now, some potential consequences of living together or cohabitating could be quite a few. For example, your marriage is no longer there. That level of trust, that bond that you once had is no longer there. So naturally living together with someone that you might not like could create conflict. And the more conflict we have is the more we have to go into court, potentially even a domestic violence restraining order might be needed. And we certainly want to avoid those complications and make this transition as smooth as possible. Now, whether cohabitation can affect spouse support, I definitely think it can. Because if you're living together in one home, and you have one spouse taking care of all the expenses, the financial expenses, in a way, you're receiving that benefit free of charge. So you're not having to pay for anything, therefore taking away that need for spousal support. So you can't really double dip and live rent free, utility free, and then expect your spouse to also pay you monthly for spousal support. But it's possible that you could potentially get a little bit of both. It's very important to sit down with a seasoned family law attorney to explore your rights and your options. Feel free to give us a call, contact us online. I'll be happy to schedule you your initial consultation. And if it, what you heard in this video helped you out and you liked it and answered your questions, please go and hit, hit that like button and feel free to hit that subscribe button too so you don't miss any future videos.